What's up, family? I'm coming at you with another YouTube video. If this is your first time, I want to thank you for viewing this channel. I'm Tyree Cooper, big baby. My goal is to be a resource for all musicians. Anybody who's trying to go to the next level, anybody who's trying to keep the culture alive. This is the spot. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, consider subscribing and liking this video. Either way, I appreciate you for coming through. Other than that, you see the title of the video. Let's get to it. So you broke your neck, huh? You tripping. This is something that needed to be talked about for decades. I've seen this all throughout United States, overseas, in high schools, and in college. You trying to put too much pressure on the horn. You think if you yank that thing, that you'll be louder. Well, you're wrong. That's the wrong way of playing. All you gotta do is just stand still, just chill. But I'm gonna give you three easy steps in order to not ever do that again. Number one, the first thing all you gotta do is back the f up. Back the f away from it. You trying to jam it into your mouth, put pressure on your lip. That's cheating. Why you say? Because the mouthpiece is cutting circulation off of your lips, which simultaneously is making your lips swell. You're noticing you're able to hit higher notes, which in return allows you to hit notes more accurately. And now you're hitting notes that you probably never hit before. But how long does that last? Gradually, your lip is becoming very, very smooth. Smooth as eggs. But, it's gonna go too far. And when it does, you have just subsequently <laughs> yourself. <laughs> now you're missing notes, and your notes start getting airy. So what does your dumb ass do now? You grab the neck harder, and push it into your face further with your lizard looking ass. <laughs> hey, but I get it. I get it. You're in the moment, the crowd is watching you. You probably got your family over there, got your girlfriend over there, and you gotta show out. So what do we do now? Honestly, all jokes aside, what do we do now? First, I was being very serious. Back the fuck up off the neck. You gotta get up off of it. Number two, let go of the neck. I know you see a lot of sousaphone players do it. I get it, but you don't understand the science of what they're trying to do. So you're trying to imitate what you see online and you're putting your horn in the hospital as a consequence. And we all know how long it takes your horn to get up out there. Practice, practice, practice. Playing without holding your neck or holding your mouthpiece. Just focus. If you can sing the note, if you can hear the note, you should be able to play the note. If you can hear the note in your head, you should be able to hit that note. If you're going in a higher register, picture, imagine in your mind that you're already up there and you're coming down versus you're trying to reach up there as high as possible. And the only way to do it is to tense up your whole body and push the mouthpiece just a little bit further. Then you'll be able to hit that high note at the end of that song. No, 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 no. That tells most of the collegiate players you haven't been practicing that. You should be able to hit those notes with no pressure at all. As you let go of your neck, practice long tones in the high register, middle register, and low register. That's that boring shit your band director be telling you to do. Practice it loud and practice it soft. And then you'll realize over time that you won't have to strain your body and tense up all your muscles in order to hit certain notes in certain ranges and trying to compete with some of your other bandmates. 
It should just play together. It don't matter if you buy yourself, a section of four, section of six, or 37. The same concept applies. Don't overcompensate. You're one person. Calm the f down. The last tip I got for y'all is number three. Buzz on the mouthpiece. Sing a song. Make a siren noise. And if you really want to go to the next level, the beast mode level, Do your buzz next to a tuner and try to hit certain notes in the green. Now at first it doesn't really matter what note you hit, just start buzzing next to a tuner. Whatever note you land on, try to stay on it for at least four seconds. It's gonna be hard at first, but eventually you can do that. And then you'll be able to do five seconds, six, seven, and so forth and so on. Those little bitty things that your band director told you to do, that boring shit, is what gets you to the next level and prevents you from breaking all the damn horns. And what used to get me is the people that used to break the horns would just go get another one. Oh, no, 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 this is what y'all say. Man, them horns weak, man. Them fragile ass horns, them tender ass horns. Nah, it's your gorilla built ass. <laughs> your fat back ass. Man handling the horn. Back the f up. Let go of the neck and do some more efficient practices at home. That's it. I got one more tip for y'all. I got one more bonus tip for y'all. Just because I like y'all so much. Get your horn, get your neck, your mouthpiece, get an old t-shirt, and take your ass outside. Now, ball up the t-shirt and try to stuff it into the horn. Not so much to where you can't play, to where you can't get no air out but just enough to where it's not packed in there. You're not using any kind of muscles, muscles, muscles. Now, pick a note or pick a song. Preferably a note though, at first, if you've never done this before. Pick a note and just do quarter notes. Boom, 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 and try to hit that note as accurately as you can. Backing the fuck up off the mouthpiece, letting go of the neck, and then over time, getting louder, increasing your volume. Then once you master that, then pick another note. Go a little bit higher this time. Doing the same thing, don't change nothing. Just keep doing that until you're satisfied. No, no, don't do that. Keep doing it until you think I'll be satisfied. Then after all of that, you should be able to hop back on the horn, take the shirt out, and your embouchure should be stronger enough to withstand the air pressure that's coming out from your diaphragm. That's in hopes that you watch my diaphragm video. I'll put it right here if you have it. Or somewhere over here. And everybody that's surrounding you that have played with you before or have played around you before, once they hear how you sound now, you'll be a lot more structured, a lot more in tune, a lot more controlled. And that's the goal. If you like this video, or if I provided any kind of content, or that might be helpful for your friends, share it with the person that's breaking all the damn horns. Please. So we can have something to play in the fall. Man, I love y'all, family. The good ones and the poop. Another video coming up soon. Thank y'all for joining me. This is Beast Mode Musicians, and we out.